What's up guys, iDevice Help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock the iPhone 4S in iOS 7.1.1. Now before we begin, there's a few things I need to explain. So let's go ahead and begin. Now, it's only supported for the iPhone 4S, uh, Verizon and Sprint, which means CDMA here in the US. Now only for Windows users, uh, only and also it's going to be with the GPP now there's a few things you need to download onto your computer before we begin because we need to install an application that's called the GPP 3 to 2 app onto the phone in order to install a patch on the phone to run the unlocking process so first I'm going to teach you guys how to get the application onto the phone and then we'll work through the unlocking process itself so let's go ahead and begin all right, so the first package you need to download onto your computer is the WinRAR. WinRAR is an application that helps you extract zip folders, which we're going to need to extract the next two packages. And you're going to need three packages. I'll have direct links in the video description down below, so you can go ahead and download for your computer, and then you can proceed with this tutorial. Now, also, you're going to need the 3 to 2 application on your desktop as well. You're going to extract it with WinRAR, and you're going, also going to need the application iTools, that is I-T-O-O-L-S which is going to allow us to put the 3 to 2 application onto the phone. I'll demonstrate what I mean by that. Now, this does not require a jailbreak, by the way. And before we begin, let me go ahead and demonstrate that I am running iOS 7.1.1. All right, so there it is. And then it is my Sprint iPhone 4S. There's Siri. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Now, before we begin, just to confirm that this phone is currently locked to Sprint, I'm going to insert any GSM carrier SIM card into the phone and it should make it crash. It should not work because the phone is currently locked to the Sprint network. Now you also have to be connected to Wi-Fi, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and wait for the phone to demonstrate that it is locked. So as you can see there, the device has crashed. It's asking me for an activation require. If I slide to unlock, it's gonna tell me that it's not a valid SIM. So that means this phone is currently locked to Sprint. The SIM card did not work. Now we're going to fix that on this video. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the simple mobile SIM card that I put inside the phone. There it is. And now we're going to go through the unlocking process. All right, so once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and connect your device to the computer via the USB cable. Okay, so once you download WinRAR, the 3 to 2 application, and also iTools, the first thing you're going to want to launch is iTools. Okay, and by the way, you're going to need to extract the 3 to 2 package because it is going to come in a zip folder. That's why we need WinRAR. Right here, your office is going to ask you if you can trust this computer. Just go ahead and hit trust. And once you open the iTools application, if iTunes pops up, go ahead and close it out. And right here in iTools, you're going to go to the Tools section. And then right here, which is associated with IPA, you're going to go ahead and switch that to on if it's off. Once you do that, you want to go into the iPhones right here, Application Folder. And we're going to go ahead and select the 3 to 2 application and drop it onto the phone. This is just to import the application onto the phone. And watch on my phone here quick. There it is. It appeared. Now, once the application is imported onto the phone, then we can begin with the unlocking process. But before that, you tap on the app hit continue and patch click on that patch button right there alright so once you get the OK go ahead and hit OK and close the application out so there you go we imported the app we ran the patch and now we're going to begin with the unlocking process you can disconnect your device the rest of the process we're going to be doing it on the iPhone so now with the GPP and uh, you can buy the GPP at my blog iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com inside the package you'll get three things uh, you'll get a programming chip. This is the programmer, and I'll discuss what that what this is for later on. But you're going to go ahead and you're going to remove it from the package and rip it off like so. It looks like a SIM card there, okay? And I'm going to place it here to the side real quick. And also inside the package, you'll also get a SIM extractor, this tool right here, to extract your SIM tray. And, of course, you'll get the actual chip and the actual custom tray. So you're going to place the chip inside the tray and then the programming chip to program the actual chip to unlock Sprint or Verizon. Now I have a Sprint iPhone, so I'm going to program it for Sprint. What you want to do is you want to power off the device and put the chip inside the phone with the custom tray and the GPP. So right now, basically, what we're doing is just programming the chip to unlock our particular carrier. Again, this is 
for Verizon and Sprint iPhone 4s only and then you're gonna go ahead and power back up now once the device powers up again make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and you should get prompted I'm gonna select Sprint you'll select Sprint or Verizon depending on the carrier for your device and then you're gonna hit accept and then you're gonna remove the GPP and the customer in the programming chip and you're gonna power off the device okay so while that's being done and this works from Sprint or Verizon iPhone 4s to unlock to any GSM carrier such as T-Mobile AT&T or Simple Mobile so you can use any of those prepaid services after you unlock with this GBP so once you program the chip just like I did there now it's programmed to unlock Sprint of course you'll select Verizon if yours is Verizon there's two different types of chips uh, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop the carrier SIM card that you want to use with the chip inside and also the custom tray and insert it into the device or the iPhone for us and then we're going to boot back up and then I'm gonna let it sit there all right so once your device boots up you can go ahead and slide to unlock again make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi and I'm gonna wait for the service to pop up so there it is T-Mobile running on the iPhone 4s Sprint that we just unlocked with the GPP go ahead back here into general about here it is same iPhone iOS 7.1.1 now the carrier says carrier and the network says T-Mobile have a simple mobile sim card in the phone at the time but simple mobile works through T-Mobile here in the US now uh, if you guys have any questions at all leave a comment down below now let's talk about where you can purchase the GPP to unlock your CDMA Sprint or Verizon iPhone 4s Alright guys, so if you'd like to purchase the GPP unlock for iOS 7.1.1, what you want to do is go to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com and on the right column section here, you want to scroll down until you see the actual image, this image, down here on the right column section, there it is. You're going to go ahead and select, again, there's two different kinds, one's for Verizon and one's for Sprint. Select the one for your particular device and particular carrier, and you can just hit the buy button right there, and you can get it and watch this video tutorial and unlock your device. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well if you need other support and have any other questions we can help you guys if you purchase through us and i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did please a thumbs up i really do appreciate it when you guys thumbs up our videos it's been i device and i will catch you guys on the next one peace